Hi Aries and welcome to my channel. My name is Alexa Taro and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. If you are here for this twin flame or soulmate connection reading, you're at the right place. Whether you have just met your soulmate or twin flame, whether you've been living with them for quite some time, whether you are married, engaged, or whatever dynamics uh, whether uh, it's been uh, just recent or for many years, this mess or these messages will be for you. Now, if you are in a twin flame or soulmate connection that you guys are in separation, I would advise you or suggest for you guys to take a look at my video section um, and look for connections and separation readings, okay? Because that would be more fitting. I'm really focusing on twin flames or soulmate connections that are physically um, you know that are not in long distance connections okay so that uh, that being said this is a general reading if you guys are interested in a more one-to-one -one reading just take a look down below in the description box all my information is there please note I do not reach out to uh, potential clients which is the reason why my email is there okay so if anyone reaches out to you um, claiming to be me just know that that is not me okay guys so Aries let's take a look here at what is your twin flame or soulmate feeling at this moment in time of course all of my readings unless I say otherwise all of my readings are timeless readings so whenever you um, see this message this is for you okay so I see here fear popped up here for your twin flame here Okay, so some of them may be, um, I feel like a sense of inhibition. There may be something that they are hiding, but they're hiding because um, either hiding some sense of vulnerability or afraid to open up to something or perhaps maybe a topic of conversation. Okay, I feel others may feel a little, um, um, how can I say, like, there may have been something that caused them, okay, something, may, maybe something was said, maybe something was read or heard, but there may be something here that triggered, okay, in this connection with you, triggered a sense of, in a way, withdrawing their feelings. Now, it could be work-related, it could be family-related, doesn't necessarily mean it's you, Aries, but they are showing up as uh, having this, in a way, kind of something hidden or afraid to show something or say something about a particular either person, place, or thing. So I have here guarded. Wow. So this is, yeah, there may have been a little something happening here, okay, between uh, you and your soulmate or twin flame maybe again like i said something related to work family okay but they do have true love here at the back of the deck um that's telling me that this could be you know maybe you guys are going through a little rough patch okay happens to all of us in relationships so that's quite normal um so it could be that that they are experiencing but at the end of the day here they did get the true love here uh, card. So I feel that there is this sense of harmony, okay? There's this feeling of um, riding the highs and the lows in this relationship um, and really trying to tune in, okay? So I feel here that regardless of the first two cards, which was fear and guarded, um, I feel here that they're trying to raise their vibrational frequency in regards to their feelings based on these two cards here, okay? They're trying to raise the frequency, and it's interesting. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the um, musical notes are kind of leaning into this direction. It's kind of like they're trying to lean out. Some of them may feel that there is a sense of support that you give them, okay? There's a sense of positivity that you are giving them or that you are doing saying or maybe you're their you know personal cheerleader that's that's really helping them clear out these um pockets here of low vibrational energy let's see what else is your twin flame or soulmate feeling at this moment in time 
So we have men holding the heart. I told you guys, um, they, they're, they're still in love. They're invested in this relationship. So that's not what's in question here, which is great to see. Um, they also have action, okay? They're, they have action and they have door to value, okay? So they, they pretty much value this relationship here. There is something here, though, that they want to act upon or they want to move forward, all right? Whether it is moving forward either your connection or moving forward in Joe, in, in Joey, jo, I was going to say Joe, who is Joe? I don't know if you guys know a Joe, that may be for you, or Joey, but anyway, um, they might have this, um, they have this feeling of wanting to show, is what I wanted to say, and Joe came out, but they want to show or make the effort. So you might see here, for some of you, an ignited sense of passion. All right, so there may be some type of action that they're showing, or they're trying to, you know, either make dates that are special, be more romantic, and they have door to value here. And that could be because they feel that there is such a valuable connection here, okay? For those of you that are married, you may be seeing an increase of passion, okay, and intimacy as well. So it doesn't matter if you guys are married or not, but you know, I just want to kind of give a shout out to um, my, my couples that are indeed married and um, or living together, you know, um, you guys, you know, if you see your mate on a regular basis and you may sometimes feel that, um, you know, the passion is kind of not there or kind of, you know, we all get into that day to day routine. This is telling me here they're kind of kind of breaking out of that routine. OK, so there may be an, a, a sudden or an intense amount of passion and intimacy happening here. Now, that goes for all of you even if you guys aren't living together okay so that you might start seeing that your um your soulmate is uh you know showing you telling you okay in whatever love language that they are comfortable with showing you how much they care how, showing you how much they love you okay or how much in love they are in this connection let's see how else is your soulmate or twin flame feeling here at the moment all right so they have here the taming power of the small okay so i feel here that there may be a little bit of minor impediment impediments okay or a little bit of obstacles and challenges a little hiccup for those of you that are seeing in a way that um you know you may have had an argument or may have had differences of opinion here with your soulmate or twin frame which again is completely and totally normal right in relationships um especially if you're married especially you've been living with your soulmate or twin flame for quite some time um and especially if you just met them or have been dating quite frequently okay because you guys are getting to know each other deeper on a deeper deeper level okay so what i feel here is that those minor blockages are this energy here that came out at the beginning which was the fear and the guarded card so i feel here that they're kind of either i'm hearing the word struggling for some of them they're kind of struggling to overcome this little patch here for others of you i feel that they are tenaciously determined to overcome this but with your help and your support again i'm being called to look at that true uh, love uh, card and that energy is really going into this little pocket right here um let's take a look how else they are feeling in this connection with you or just in this connection in general oh something just flipped over let's see what that is all right so they have the king of swords i'm not surprised all right um i feel here that a lot of them are really trying to gain a certain control of their thoughts uh, they have a mastery in logical thinking, okay? So they're trying to logically or clearly think about something, okay, or about certain things here. I'm, I'm being called to say that they're, and I'm literally going to put it here because that's that's what I'm being guided to, to give you guys that information here. Your significant other is trying to clear their mind about this little pocket right here of fear and guardedness in their heart. Not only do they have a shield over their heart, but they also have barred barbed wires there may have been here for some of you some type of trigger okay something may have triggered this reaction for them they're really trying to clear it here by trying to gain a sense of clarity over the these uh, uh this little pocket right here of obstacles and challenges let's see here how else are they feeling in this connection twin flame soulmate how are they feeling here oh okay there was one more here all right so they have the three of wands they're pretty much in regards uh 
you know, to plans and creativity, projects and things of that nature. They feel that they're kind of in this waiting mode, okay? So they may they may be waiting for the right opportunity to do certain things. For some of you, they may be waiting for the right opportunity to if you guys are married, maybe to pop the question. For those of you um, that are planning things together, maybe a trip, because I, uh, you know, Three of Wands is all about movement and travel as well. Some of them are planning a trip or planning or trying to uh, find the right opportunity to move something forward is what I just heard. Okay, so they're trying to move something forward, whether it's a passion, an inspiration, an idea, okay, about something. They also have here the King of Cups. And not surprised that's literally coming right under the man holding the heart. They truly are invested emotionally in this connection with you. They're really in love. There is a lot of love here. King of Cups, mastery over emotions and a uh, sense of compassion. They do feel an intuitive link here with you. I'm not surprised of that again because of this true love here. They do feel a sense of you being their true love, okay, their true partner. I'm hearing partner in crime. That may be a phrase that some of them may use in your connection. And um, I'm hearing like a giggle. So that's kind of like they might say that and kind of laugh. Okay. So that may be something that may come up here. Another beautiful card. They have the 10 of cups here. Okay. 10 of cups. This is all overflowing emotions here. This is longevity. All right. And again, look, it's right under the action card. So they may be showing you depths in this relationship. They may be showing you uh, extra dating or extra date nights or going out more. Or um, again, for others of you who are not married, they may be proceeding forward into perhaps an engagement. Or for those of you that are not living together, um, they may be kind of in the in the in on the move. <laughs> you have two movement cards here. You have the three. The, the, your person does actually three of wands here in the action card. So they may move, be they may be moving here to a relationship that they can solidify. Ten of cups is emotional fulfillment in all areas. Okay. Um, so they do feel emotionally fulfilled here in this connection with you. They do have a lot of things going on here. Okay. And I do feel that they do feel that there is a value connection here with you. Two of Pentacles, juggling a lot of tasks, multitasking, okay? But it's also making decisions. And I feel here, especially for those of you who feel that your partner, okay, is going through uh, this hiccup over here, they are thinking a lot about that situation. They do have the Nine of Swords here. They may be losing sleep about something that may be causing them a little bit of anxiety here with the nine of swords nine of swords energy is all about that low vibrational energy of anxiety of worry of concern so much so that it may interfere with sleep okay some of them may be getting uh or may be experiencing i should say um nightmares okay or trouble sleeping insomnia might usually if there's this especially with this little area right here can um in a way reignite this sense of insomnia if they had that in the past Overall, uh, Aries, I mean, this is all love here. I mean, your partner is truly uh, emotionally invested, okay, here in this connection. And they really do feel at this moment in time that things are things are looking good. Just keep an eye out for maybe some surprises that may be uh, coming your way that your significant other may be um planning there for you guys so thank you so much aries if you are not part of my channel then listen join our family it's easy and it's free just click here on the alexa tarot subscribe button and i'll see you again next time Bye bye